Hi, I'm Anna of All Trades, and today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite homemade furniture finish. Let's do this. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I got this super easy to make and super easy to apply furniture finish recipe from Chris Swartz. He either wrote a blog post or had it in one of his books a long time ago. Check him out, Lost Art Press. He is a fount of knowledge and furniture wizardry. We need mineral spirits, polyurethane, and boiled linseed oil. We will stir it with this very fancy stirring device and we will apply it with this very fancy old t-shirt that has been cut. Um, also, this could be useful later, but we're going to use it currently to open all the containers. We're going to mix and store the furniture finish in a mason jar because they have an airtight seal and also because they have these handy dandy measuring marks on the side of them. So we have our spar varnish. I like a clear satin spar varnish. I don't want the finish to be super shiny because the shinier finish, the more prep you need to do and the more it's gonna show any kind of mistakes or anything else. And I'm just going to stir this. I mentioned that this is a super easy recipe. It's because it is equal parts of three different ingredients. So we are going to look on the side here. Conveniently, we have a 100, 200 and 300 milliliter mark. So I'm going to just pay attention to those as I pour the, whoop, well, not there. Also, uh, professionally speaking, I'm going to recommend you use gloves for all of this. The idea behind each of the three ingredients are as follows. The boiled linseed oil oils and protects the furniture. It gives it a beautiful glow, but it also doesn't harden super well. So that's why we also add the urethane. That's going to help the boiled linseed oil to harden and therefore protect this against water, um, damage and other elements. And then we do the mineral spirits because those are going to help both of the other components dry faster. So the idea behind this whole finishing method is that it's a wipe on finish that dries really, really quickly. So you can, you know, apply as many coats as you need to, but, um, you can also, you know, sand and do whatever you want between the, the coats, but really one penetrating coat is going to finish your piece of furniture really well and basically it's up to you how much work you want to do afterwards. So that's why I really like this method. It is just extremely easy to make. It's fairly inexpensive and you can apply and reapply. If you realize mid finishing process that you missed a glue spot or something, you can just sand down that area and reapply and it's not super hard to rematch that finish. So it's very easy, very user friendly. Later on down the road, if you ding the piece of furniture and you need to make a repair, it's also really easy to repair. This is by far the most rewarding part of any furniture build. Just seeing those colors pop, seeing your hard work come to fruition in the finished piece. I especially love the way walnut pops when finish is put on it. It's dull and then it gets absolutely stunning. A huge thank you goes to Squarespace for their ongoing support of my channel and allowing me to make making videos like this possible. I've been using Squarespace to host my website since I started my business in 2012. It is a fantastic platform for people who aren't super tech savvy like me because they do pretty much everything for you and you drag and drop your content into their beautifully artist designed templates. As a person who runs a social media business, the thing that I appreciate the most about Squarespace is the ease of integration with my Squarespace website and other social media platforms like Instagram. So in busy seasons, when I'm not super great at keeping my blog updated, Squarespace automatically uploads all of my Instagram content and shows a cute new feed on my site at all times. If you're interested in starting your own blog or creating a photo gallery of your past work for your clients or even selling your stuff online, Squarespace is a fantastic place to do that. If you would like to start your own Squarespace website, go to www.squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash and of all trades. That's and with an E of all trades for a 10% discount. The most important thing with this finishing style 
is to, with this first coat, really, really give plenty of finish to the wood so that the fibers can soak it up, but to not leave it sitting there long enough that it'll start to dry and get tacky. So I'm you know, putting plenty of finish on my cloth, letting it soak in, but I'm coming back and wiping away the excess before it gets tacky and then make, you know, gets sticky. And that's the whole reason of using the mineral spirits is that you can do quick coats that'll dry and then keep adding as you need to. The other thing that I really, really like about this finish is how forgiving it is. Because it's not super high gloss or, you know, high sheen, it allows for tool marks to not be as noticeable. It allows you to be a little bit um, less careful with your sanding and your surface prep. And I hate sanding. This chair, in fact, is one of my favorite designs because it leaves so many natural tool marks and gives me that extra freedom there. Now, if I, as I'm finishing, if I realize I really did miss a spot and wanna go back and fix it, again, that's why this method is really superior because it allows you that freedom. End grain portions are always really, really thirsty. So you do wanna make sure that you're putting plenty of finish on them, but you also wanna come back again, get it before it soaks in really. I love this red oak and walnut combination. I was considering fuming the red oak because I'm not usually a fan of it, but man, just something about the reds and the walnut really brought this piece together. Once you've got this first penetrating coat of finish on, you've let it soak into the end grain, then you've taken your cloth and you've wiped off all the excess, you've made sure there's no extra shiny spots anywhere. I generally like to leave it dry for about 24 hours. Then I'll come back with three or 400 grit sandpaper, knock down any grain that has been raised, fix any problem areas that were made more obvious by the finishing process, and then hit it with a couple more coats. After this first penetrating coat though, those coats are gonna be super thin and super quick. So you're just gonna hit it really quickly with the cloth, wipe off the excess, let it dry. And again, you can wait 24 hours between coats of finish and you can really keep adding coats as much as you want. But I generally tend to stop around two or three. And there you have it. It's a very quick and easy finish with a very low barrier to entry. All of these items are available at your local home store and Again, it's easy to put on, it's easy to repair. Do it in a well-ventilated area with gloves and enjoy your furniture for forever and ever, amen. Pretty much every single piece that I've built that doesn't require milk paint or something else has used this finish and it's all holding up absolutely fantastically. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and for supporting my channel in that way. If you would like to support me in other ways, there are links for my merchandise and my Patreon below. I hope you leave this video feeling challenged, inspired, and excited to get outside and to do things with your own hands as well. Cheers!